was like, maybe I should. Well, good. Then we don't need to do the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we're recording. Shit. Mm -hmm. Good rehearsal. Hi, I'm George, and this is Dave, and we're, we're here from Acme Guitar Works, and we want to tell you about a couple of guitars. This one is a, a white Telecaster that we pot rotted. And uh, we've been doing this program where we hot rod uh, Mexican Fender guitars and uh, make them really cool. But that program's coming to an end uh, just because we just don't have the time to do it. Our core business is parts and electronics and all of the wiring stuff and the pickups and all of that kind of stuff. And of course, we're going to continue doing all that. We're just not going to do the, the completed guitars anymore. We've got a couple left at, today, uh, and uh, they're going to go quickly, I'm sure. And that'll be it. So if you're seeing this video and you like the guitar, uh, you want to give us a call because it won't last long, I'm sure. Um, so the concept was we would start with a brand new Fender guitar and we would just uh, make it better. We would do all the stuff to it that we would do uh, to one of our own guitars. And with this guitar, we kind of, I mean, it's, it's one of the more expensive Mexican guitars and then we really threw the kitchen sink at it. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a pricey for a Mexican guitar, although it's uh, considerably less expensive than many of the American guitars, and it's, it just kicks ass. It's just a great guitar from one end to the other. So uh, what we've done with it is uh, we refretted it. These things, it's, this is a classic series 60s Telecaster, which means it's a reissue. So it came with a mint green pickguard. It came with a uh, seven and a quarter inch fretboard radius like the vintage Tellys. And it came with a small fret wire, that, which, which I'm not a fan of. So we refretted this with uh, Dunlop 6100 fret wire. Nice tall frets now. It's, a, it's really comfortable uh, to play and to bend the strings on. And, uh, and then we also, in the interest of making it feel a little nicer, we deglossed the back of the neck. Um, this guitar has an amber colored lacquer to sort of give it that vintage vibe. We left that. Uh, on the back, but we just deglossed it uh, starting here. There's a hard line here. This is gloss. That's all matte. And so that matte finish uh, makes it a little bit more slippery. We also put a bone nut on it um, because that's just the traditional material that's used on high end guitars. And uh, we wanted this thing to be, you know, sort of everything, uh, no, uh, no compromises. Um, it came with a mint green pickguard. The Olympic white we think looks fantastic with uh, tortoise on it. So we put the tortoise shell pickguard, um, and I just think the thing looks really, really cool. I think that's one of the coolest looking hot rodded guitars that we've done. We put Callahan hardware on it uh, for a couple of reasons. Callahan makes these really nice bridges. They're uh, made of better quality materials than the stock Fender bridge and they're made more nicely than the stock fender bridge. It's a really beautiful piece, and it's got compensated vintage style uh, brass saddles. And the compensation means you can intonate it, because with the vintage style brass saddles, you can't intonate them, and the guitars don't, don't play in tune. Uh, this guitar plays in tune all up and down the neck, and uh, so it's just a really, it's a nice piece. And then uh, the control plate and knobs, we also went with Callaham. The control plate is stainless steel, and the knobs are uh, Callahan's uh, nickel-plated um, uh, heavy knurled uh, dome knobs. The control plate uh, has a push-button switch between the volume and tone controls, and uh, I'll talk about what that does in a minute, but that push-button switch is a switch that we make. It's part of our Tone Shaper product line. and. Um, when we use those on Telecasters, we use Callahan's plate because we get him to drill. He, he makes the plates especially for that switch so that the, uh, the hole is drilled um, you know, for, the, for the placement to be just right. The wiring on this guitar, we want to just, uh, we, we completely replace the wiring. This guitar has Grosh pickups. Uh, so it's their GT neck and the GTX bridge. Uh, you, you may be familiar with Don Grosh. Uh, they make really nice a kind of high-end um, strats and tellies and other some other cool guitars um, and uh, really really nice stuff if you're not familiar with them you should check them out so we have the garage telly pickups in it and we wired it uh, close to stock except it's got a four-way switch rather than a three-way switch many people are familiar with that it adds a fourth position 
that lets you combine the two pickups together, not just in parallel, like you can do with a normal tele, but you can also get them wired together in series, and that gives you a, a it's a fourth tone, it's hum canceling, and it's uh, it's a little uh, fuller and uh, it hits your amp a little harder than the two wired together in parallel. But we also employed a little uh, a trick on this. It was actually suggested by a customer one time, and that is a, a tone control bypass. So that's what the push button does. So you can use the tone control kind of like a preset. And um, if you find that, that spot where you really like, the, like it to be, but you can't always get there, you know, rolling it up and rolling it back and trying to get it back to the spot where you want it, with this, you can roll it down, get it where you want it, and then you can just press the button and toggle between either, you know, that spot or full treble. And uh, uh, we thought that was kind of a cool idea. So that's about it for the guitar. Uh, we Again, we threw a lot at it. It's a really, really cool guitar. And now Dave is going to play it, and you'll be able to hear, you know, how it sounds and uh, the different switch positions and whatnot. Start in the bridge position. Thank <laughs> you. 
We'll pull the tone back about 50%. We're in the bridge position. see it uh, looks cool it sounds great it's a really cool guitar i think and uh hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching